The Miami International Boat Show. Yeah, there's a lot of eye candy, but there's a lot more to the show than just that. Much more in the way of retail. In fact, some would say here at the Boat Show that the maritime merchandise that's available is the cash cow. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. One of the very interesting lyrics that you'll find representative of this type of literature here at the Author's Corner at Strictly Sailing. Bob Bitchin lived on a sailboat for 35 years and is no stranger to the threats of the sea. We look in front and, and now it's up like about three and we can see off in the distance a black spout. That's just one of the many weather hazards he's experienced on the water. But Bob admits it was his fault because he didn't understand weather maps. I had a weather fax on board, but honestly I didn't know how to read it. But marine meteorologist Lee Chesnow says there are three simple steps an average boater can use to accurately predict weather on the water. The difference between an advisory and a warning is okay, and how it impacts a vessel. Look at the sky. Clouds uh, tell a big time story for short-term weather forecasting. Experts have maintained that education is the best way to be safe out on the open waters. Sometimes weather applications such as this on the iPhone can be misleading. I think the U.S. has really uh, stepped forward along with the Japanese as being the two premier uh, maritime services in the world. Learning weather takes some time. So either you need to go to seminars on it. I mean, a licensed captain should know. That's part of the, the tests that you take. Right. You become a licensed captain. Um, but still, you have to practice it. Bob stresses the importance because Mother Nature can be deadly when you least expect it. At the Miami International Boat Show, I'm Locke Roberts.